Tube craft tube my name is Tia and this is my channel here at calm creations on YouTube this is my little space where I share all my crafty bits and pieces and things that I've been up to over the last week um, today is Tuesday so that means it is floss tube craft tube day so first of all I want to send virtual hugs to Aussie Maria Emily Rainbows and Stitching and Darren thank you very much for your comments and taking some time to come and hang out with me while I ramble on so I really do appreciate it and um, yeah right let's get into it so not last week the week before I was supposed to work on my piece which is Home of a Needleworker by Little House Needleworks and I ran out of time and didn't get to put any stitches into it so I was playing catch up but I have since put some stitches into it so here is where that's up to so I'd only done a tiny bit up here but I've now filled in down there and along there and this is on that random piece of fabric that I bought from the $2 shop. It's actually really nice to stitch on. So that is that piece. So I'm all caught up with that now. And then, so that was the week before. Last week was um, Jamie, Claire and Frank by Heaven and Earth Designs which is this piece and I'm working over here in Jamie's here so that is that one now you're not going to see much of a difference because I've just worked in some of the threads that were already there so I've just done a little bit coming down here So that is my Outlander piece, Jamie, Claire and Frank. Um, right, what have we got next? This week's stitching is, uh, what have we got? Spring by the Cricut Collection, which is this piece. I've already done winter and autumn. So winter, I don't know, can you see it? Oh yeah, winter's up there. Can you see that in the back? Okay, so this is spring. Um, and I'm up to the, the R, and I'm doing, I'm working up in here, which is a, a pie. So that's going to be lovely when it's done. I love these little pieces. So that's spring. That's for this week, starting today. Um, next week is, let me show you, Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. So this was a stitch along that I started um, for Gail's birthday. Uh, not last year, maybe the year before, I don't, oh, hang on, I've got it on here, 2020, so that's that one, and I've still got it on the scroll bars, but I'll show you, so I'm working on the big centre block, um, I've still got a bit to do in the compass and some of the sails. So I'll put the sidebars on that and get that some work into that. So that's next week. Right. 
So that's all my weekly plans. So I'll put that down there. Um, right. That is those. Okay, so I've been doing the stitch along with the Fat Quarter Shop, the Granny Square um, stitch along, which is this here. So I've now got half a finish. So let me show you what I've done. So this is it here. It's only tiny. It's only, this is a four inch frame. <clears throat> So that is half, and this needs to now be put back on that black sort of tubular piece that I bought, um, that I'm painting white. So that's half finished. But I've had a few questions um, about the little wooden needle minders that I make. So that's that one there that I made to match that stitch along um, so it's just that's it there but I'm going to um, film a tutorial on how I made them um, so that is coming oh but the other thing I had questions about was this wreath here um, how I made that so I will endeavour to film a tutorial on how I made that. Right, that's all of that done. Now the other, so the Granny Square stitch along with the Fat Quarter Shop's now finished. Um, um, that one's all done now. But there's a new one um, that started on the 1st of July. And the Fat Quarter Shop sent me everything that I needed to... Um, stitch this so <clears throat> this is season two a year of celebrations continues and I'm starting in the July block which is the July square which is this little wee one down here um, and I've made a start on that <clears throat> so you're gonna see this piece um, every week with progress on it so um, this is where I'm up to on that one so that's looking very very cute and um, I'm stitching this on um, 25 count Dublin linen 2 over 2 so that is that piece um right what else have we got <clears throat> so there's a new craze that has hit the internet a new method of stitching which is called royal royal rose and it is um done in blocks so you do a hundred you know once if you're using 25 count you do one block no you do two one and two underneath each other then once that is full with the one color you park it underneath if you finish the color you finish it to the right and then snip off your thread because it will eventually be stitched over at the back so um, I started a new piece and it is this little guy which is quick stitch hazel's world giraffe which is by Dakota can't say who's your name. This is the designer that's recently retired her charts from Heaven and Earth Designs. That's her name there. I don't know if you can buy her charts anywhere else. But this is a quick stitch piece and it is a piece that is from a bigger piece. So this is only really little. It's 118 by 207. So I 
started I had a go at trying these this royal rose method now for those that don't like parking or can't bear to have the dangly threads then it's probably not going to be the method for you but I've made a tiny weeny start and so what happens is you eventually stitch a lot faster because you've got all your threads already and you just pick it up and do the next one so that is my little wee start on that so that's 25 count easy guide so that's that one now the other thing that I started and I forgot to share this last week um, was I had bought this kit from work which is a trans transparent embroidery kit and I was just fascinated by how this works and I've started it so I wanted to I don't know how I'm going to show you because it's transparent but anyway we'll see what close that. so it came with everything I needed the hoop the fabric the threads the needle the instructions aren't very good but um might put that behind it okay so it is this very very thin sheer fabric that's not gonna work yeah, it's better than um, and I've just done a couple of the stalks on these daisies so that's it there I mean we've got a good photo of it but um, but it's right sorry about that little interruption my memory card on my camera was full so I was showing you, trying to show you, this embroidery. So, it's going to be no good there. But, yeah, it's on a very sheer fabric. But it's just it's so pretty. So, that is my transparent embroidery kit that I'm working on. But I think that is about it from me I haven't done any work on any of my other um, stuff like my jelly roll garden quilt my gnome quilt Spencer's blanket or my cardigan but all my socks but we will get there so I just want to say thank you very much for coming and hanging out with me and seeing what I've been up to over the past week. I hope you have a great crafty week and I will see you all again next week. Bye.